The Soyuz U launch vehicle was an improved version of the original Soyuz rocket. Soyuz U was part of the R-7 family of rockets based on the R-7 Semyorka missile. Members of this rocket family were designed by the TSSKB Design Bureau and constructed at the Progress Factory in Samara, Russia, now a United Company, TSSKB Progress. The first Soyuz U flight took place on the 18th of May 1973, carrying as its payload Cosmos 559, a Zenit military surveillance satellite. The final flight of a Soyuz U rocket took place on February 22, 2017, carrying Progress MS05 to the International Space Station. Soyuz U was in use continuously for almost 44 years. Production of R-7 derived launch vehicles peaked in the late 1970s early 1980s at 55 to 60 a year. Soyuz U held the world record of highest launch rate in a year in 1979 with 47 flights. Over its operational lifetime, the Soyuz U variant flew a total of 786 missions, another world record. Soyuz U has also been one of the most reliable launches with a success rate of 97.3%. Topic. Development The earlier Soyuz 11A511 was the first attempt at creating a standardized R-7 core in place of the numerous variations that had been used up to 1966. Starting that year, the 11A511 block iron strap-on boosters were added to the Voskhod 11A57, Vostok 2 8A92, and Molnir M 8K78M vehicles as well as minor R7 variants flown once or twice for specialized payloads. The uprated 11A511U core was introduced to the R7 family in 1973, yielding the carrier rocket variant named Soyuz U, although adoption across the board was not complete until 1977 when the existing stock of 11A511-derived boosters was used up. Versions <laughs> 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 Two versions of Soyuz U were fitted with an additional upper stage. Soyuz U, a car with the ACAR third stage, produced by the Progress State Research and Production Rocket Space Center, TSSKB Progress. A car is used to deliver various payloads with masses of 750 kg to 3,920 kg to heights 250 km to 1,400 km. The performance of the Akar upper stage is lower than that of the Fregate upper stage, but it is more precise in maneuvering and it can operate autonomously longer. This version was launched six times in 1999, carrying four Globalstar satellites on each mission. Soyuz U, Fregate with the Fregate third stage, developed and produced by Lavichkin Association in Kimki. This version only flew four times in 2000. The Fregate upper stage was subsequently flown regularly atop Soyuz FG and Soyuz 2 boosters. An older variant of Soyuz U, the Soyuz U 2 launcher, first flown in 1982, had the same hardware as the basic Soyuz U. Instead of standard RP 1, it used a high energy, synthetic version, Sinton, as the first stage fuel. This variant, mainly used to transport crew and cargo to the Mir space station, last flew in 1995, after production of Sinton ended due to cost reasons. Soyuz U was the basic platform for the development of the Soyuz FG variant, which used an all-new first stage and took over crew transport to the ISS in 2002. Since 2013, both Soyuz U and Soyuz FG are gradually being replaced by the modernized Soyuz 2 launch vehicle. Human spaceflight The first use of a Soyuz U to launch a crewed mission took place 2 December 1974, when the Soyuz 16 crew was launched in preparation for the Apollo Soyuz Test Project ASTP. Soyuz 19, which as part of the ASTP docked with the last Apollo spacecraft ever flown, was also launched by a Soyuz U rocket. On the 6th of July 1976, a Soyuz U launched Soyuz 21, which took a crew of two to the Salyut 5 space station. Many subsequent space station crews were launched on Soyuz U launches. The final crewed mission to utilize the Soyuz U was Soyuz Trademark 34, a Soyuz ferry flight to the International Space Station. 
A spectacular accident occurred on 26 September 1983, when the launcher for the Soyuz T-10A mission was destroyed by fire on the launch pad. The crew was saved by activation of the launch escape system a few seconds before the explosion. Recent missions Since the early 2000s, Soyuz U vehicles have been used by the Russian Federal Space Agency primarily to launch Progress M robotic cargo spacecraft on resupply missions to the International Space Station Although the Soyuz U is generally very reliable, occasional failures have happened, such as the October 2002 launch of a photon satellite which crashed near the pad at Plesetsk after the Block D strap on booster suffered an engine malfunction. One person on the ground was killed. A Soyuz U mission failed to launch Progress M12M to the ISS on the 24th of August 2011 when the upper stage experienced a problem and broke up over Siberia. It was the first time a Progress spacecraft had failed to reach orbit. Another cargo ship, Progress MS04, was lost on December 1, 2016 shortly after launch, likely due to a problem with the third stage of the Soyuz U. In April 2015 Soyuz U was declared obsolete, its production has been stopped, and the rocket was scheduled for retirement after launching the remaining vehicles with Progress cargo ships. The final flight was Progress MS-05, which launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on February 22, 2017, 5 hours 58 minutes and 33 seconds 5 May 2019 1432 Coordinated Universal Time.